One of my mentors in pasta making taught me that pasta really was an ingredient story. And we strive to respect the ingredient, the semolina, in how we process the dough and form the pasta shape. We strive for cool, slow extrusion with uh, minimum starch damage, minimum protein damage, and just really try to get the product the highest possible quality level. Hi, I'm Lindy Francisi with the Maco. I'm a fourth generation pasta machine builder. Here before me is one of our newest extruders that we're just uh, finishing up now. This machine incorporates a whole bunch of new technology. We're really excited about this machine because of all the new innovation and new developments we put into it. This is our most popular product, the 7501 extruder. 190 millimeter screw, uh, 520 millimeter die. Just the right size for frozen food factories, for large frozen food factories. Very clean, very heavy duty. The dough handling on it and dough processing is superb. This makes a very high quality product. It's highly automated. Um, you don't really need to do all that much to make it go uh, and to keep it going. It's just a terrific machine and it's a great product. Uh, we keep improving it. Um, I think this year's model is the best machine we've ever made. Um, and of course, we believe it's the best in the world. Ultimately, our goal is to make the customer look good and make their product as good as it can be. Um, and they come, come back. This year, every single machine we have sold is a repeat customer purchase. So this machine is, is, is basically a standard model. Um, what we do is we'll get together with the customer, go through their needs, their priorities, what they're looking for, what their requirements are, and we'll kind of incorporate that into the configuration of the machine. So we can configure a machine for uh, any kind of caliber or quality of pasta from the most exotic artisanal pasta to the largest size mass-produced presses, you know, mass-produced pasta presses um, there are. Um, we'll get together with the customer, go through their needs, their priorities. Uh, oftentimes, the larger customers will have uh, electrical specifications sanitation specifications, uh, other kinds of quality specs. Um, we incorporate that into the build. Um, the, the machine is standard and proven and customized at the same time. This machine is for frozen dinners. It's gonna make lasagna, frozen lasagna and it can make lasagna as well as every kind of frozen entree under the sun. Uh, it can do it and makes a very flexible line. They can switch products in minutes and be making some, a different item, whether it's uh, Asian noodles or a uh, lasagna dish or a linguine dish or spaghetti and meatballs or macaroni and cheese. All the most popular items, this machine will do it. This is the extruder drive unit. This is custom made for us in Germany. Uh, it is extremely robust and it's designed for a very, very long service life. Uh, as you can see, it's not covered with grooves or fins or other things that will be dirt traps. It's a very hygienic design. It's extremely rugged. Um, we have a direct drive 75 horsepower motor on it. Uh, custom built for Demaco by Siemens in Germany. The extrusion head here is a 520 millimeter head. It is a very, very heavy, tough piece of equipment. It is made from 17.4 pH precipitation hardened stainless steel. Uh, it is heat treated. It is thick uh, all over and it's pretty much impossible to break. Pasta is a food that feeds families. It really brings families together. It's a wonderful product. Um, we're very proud to be part of the industry. We love pasta. Um, we eat a lot of it, and we're extremely passionate about making good pasta, making really the best pasta that a, a pasta extruder can make. And 
Uh, our presses are designed, they're configured to make artisanal quality pasta. Um, if a customer wants to make the best, we work with them to set up the machine in a way that's going to give them every possible advantage. We can't make up for poor raw material, but we can make the most of any raw material. Tamaco is a really cool company to work for. We all really enjoy designing and building pasta machines. It's what we all love to do. You know, really uh, starts with a spark for an idea for a new concept for a machine, or it's a customer requirement. We take it from there, and it's really a team approach to the way we do things. Uh, which is something we all really enjoy about the process. It, you know, we have our, our suppliers who tell us about the newest state-of-the-art piece components that are available and we see if those can be included in the designs. They're an important part of our, our team. Our customers who actually continuously tell us about what worked well and what didn't work well, what they want to see in the machines because all of that gets rolled into our new designs and new concepts for equipment and also our, our, our design team itself. I mean, we have a very uh, robust design team consisting of process engineers, design engineers, manufacturing engineers, uh, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, everybody comes together. It's kind of like a, uh, I equate it when we get into our design mode, it, like a big Italian Sunday dinner where everybody gets together and everybody's throwing in their ideas and, and uh, and their best way to solve the problems. Like, it's almost like we're all trying to, trying to save the world and everybody's got all kinds of great, the ideas are just flowing. It's just an awesome part of the, uh, part of the project. I just really love that part. But then you gotta start hammering out, you know, which of those ideas are, are actually gonna be, uh, solve the problem or are actually gonna work. So then we hammer out the details and we really start getting into, uh, into some of the heavy duty grunt work of the design process. And it goes into the actual uh, design phase with, with CAD. And uh, the design tools that we have today are just absolutely incredible. We actually build things on a solid model, make sure everything works, everything fits. And uh, it has an ability to, to check uh, machining um, processes, so make sure that uh, we can do it. Uh, we, we can release prints that are actually able to build very easily. Uh, and that's actually the part that I like. Actually, after we get to the, the design, um, when we actually put it into the computer, into this, the model, and we actually release prints, then we get to actually build what we actually put on paper. And that's that's a really cool part. That's really where I got my, you know, that's where I got my start. And it used to be, you know, we'd have a, uh, I, I would say to the team, hey, we got the space on the floor. I know right now it's just an empty space on the floor. But in a couple of weeks, you know, this machine we have on paper is what we're going to build and you're going to actually see a machine here. And uh, of course, a couple of weeks later, that machine that's on the paper and uh, what we just talked about is there. And then uh, we get to bring the customer in and show them this awesome machine that we just built for them. And uh, then we start taking it apart and shipping it and installing it into the customer's facility. And it's just an incredible uh, experience from start from the concept, that spark of an idea, all the way through to actually building and delivering a machine that actually makes pasta. And uh, of course, we, when we design machines, we absolutely design machine with, with the highest quality pasta like a chef would want as the end product. So the, the entire machine is built around that and uh, we know very well what needs to be done to get to that point. Uh, we know that you know the importance of the the mixing and the 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 extruding and all those systems that have to be orchestrated perfectly to make sure at the very end you get a an extremely high quality pasta. Our our team know has been doing that for a long long time. We know how to do that. Um, everybody has their different take on how to do that best. But at the end of the day, we take the best of those ideas and we put them, include and incorporate them into our machines. And of course, all that uh, produces an end result that's exceptional for the customer. And again, we, you know, we design our machine as if the, the, the end user is a chef or a, a, a 
a high culinary, some with high culinary standards, because we want a, our machine to produce the best possible pasta that, that it can possibly make with the ingredients that uh, we have available. So we really know how to do that part. We know how to do it well. We've been doing it for years. Uh, we have uh, a lot of experience in that. It's, uh, it's what we bring to the table when the customers come talk to us. They know when they talk to us, they, they can talk you know, their technical requirements and we will receive and understand those technical requirements and know how to actually put them into the design process to actually make a product that delivers what they're looking for at the end of the day. Hi, I'm Rosie DeFranchisi and I am a fifth generation DeMacco employee um, along with my cousin Andrew and I am so um, honored to be able to be part of this, uh, my family's company with such a uh, rich heritage and um, I love coming in every day and learning from the awesome team that we have. When we have design meetings I often think of a pasta maker trying to make the best pasta in the world. Uh, someone who's very selective on their wheat, someone who's very particular in their granulation and is trying to make a, a, a pasta that is superior and we keep that pasta maker in mind when we design this equipment. I like to think of pasta quality as three different levels. The first level is the shape, the length, the diameter, the correct formation of the shape. Does the shell look like it's supposed to look? Does the elbow look the way it's supposed to look? Is it a um, proper rigatoni? Are they all the same lengths? That shape is your first level, and I say that that is the basic level that every pasta maker has to hit. The second level for a pasta maker, once you've been able to achieve the shape, is to get the texture. And the consumer does not want a soft, starchy, um, mushy pasta. They want a texture that they can bite, and they a texture that they can uh, enjoy and blend with their sauces so that they get a great experience for their families. Um, the third level of pasta quality, the highest and most difficult to achieve, is the, you have the shape, you have the texture. Next, the third level is nutty wheat flavor. Have you got the, captured that semolina and processed it in such a way that you've lost the absolute minimum amount of the natural flavor of the wheat. That's a lot harder. Um, certainly helps if you're right next to the mill. Um, but when the pasta maker can achieve all three levels, they're making a pasta that is at the highest quality standard in the world. We have a customer in Europe who has uh, four of these units. Um, they've been running them for 20 plus years with zero maintenance. The machines really needed a lot of work. Um, I went over there, went through the machine, we audited it, measured up the parts. It needed quite a bit, uh, very extensive work and they decided to purchase all new components, basically four new extrusion units. And uh, chief engineer of the plant said, you know, we take this machine for granted. Uh, it's just always there, it's just always running. And he goes, you know, if you look at it, and this is in Europe, it's, it's really the Rolls Royce of all the equipment we have in this plant. I, I felt very proud when, you know, to, to hear that from him.